Okay, I'm going to make a quick video on how to root the Droid Incredible with... Actually, this is probably the easiest step. Um, it's, it's a one-step process, really. The only thing you have to do is make sure you install the drivers correctly. And then after that, I'll show you how to get Wi-Fi tethering working. Uh, first of all, power down your your phone. Actually, let me just show you that it hasn't been rooted. Actually, I just did a clear storage on it. The only thing I installed was I logged into my uh, Gmail account, or the Google account and I installed Astro so and then I, I switched around some of the icons besides that everything else is the same I mean, you do like a factory reset so I'm going to power down and then hold down the volume key and hit power make sure it's actually connected to your computer at this time so USB cable, here's my laptop. Okay, make sure it's powered up. Like once it starts saying, once it says right there, HB USB plugged, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's here. Okay, go um, right click on my computer. I'll close this thing real quick. Right click on my computer, go to properties. If you go to device manager, you can exit the screen over here. You should, be, you should see one that says Android uh, 1.0. Uh, I should, I'm providing a link. Inside that link, you'll see two folders and a file. Okay. The second one that says unrevoked, one-click root. Double-click on that, and then you'll see on the very top it says Android USB driver. Double-click on that file. Go to the very top. Click, and then you should see this entire path. Right-click on there. Go to copy. Now right-click on Android 1.0 in the device manager. Go to update driver software. Select browse my computer for driver software. And then right click on here and paste the path. Okay. It's going to say uh, it hasn't been verified and all that. That's fine. Just hit install. Okay, there you go, successfully installed it. Hit close. Now on here, just uh, go to fast boot, hit power, and then just type in reboot. You just want your phone to turn on. Now keep in mind this isn't the leaked version, this is the, I mean this would also work on the leaked version. The one that gives you 720p and uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot application. At this time, you can actually close down the device manager. And you can go back on this one, just back and hit back again. Okay. What you want to do now is you want to copy the first folder and the last file. So I'm going to right click on android.tether. And what you want to do is you want to copy that to the root of your SD card. You can do two things. You can either uh, disk. Uh, Dismount the um, the micro SD card and connect it to like one of the little like a little USB adapter like this one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to mount it as disk drive. So if you once I mean when the uh, cord is connected to the phone itself, if you lower this thing down, click up here where it says charge only. You go to disk drive, hit done, and go on your computer. It should start reading it like a hard drive. There you go. That's one of them. This one's actually the internal 8 gigs. I don't want this one, so I'm going to hit X. I'm going to click on this one. Open folder and hit files. And it's actually this one right here. So I'm going to right click on here, go to paste. It says that the file's already created. Uh, I'm going to overwrite this. Um, you shouldn't have this issue though. So I'll that. And then copy this one, the ap inkzip Copy. I'm going to minimize this folder. And I'm going to paste it on the SD card. What this one actually does, it um, it actually changes the kernel, so um, when you do Wi-Fi tethering, it doesn't read it as ad hoc mode. I'll explain that in a bit when I get there. Okay, now I'm going to lower this thing down again. Go to disk drive. Go to charge only. Okay. Now at this time, 
hit menu, settings, go down to where it says application, go to development, and check the USB debugging. Hit OK. Then hit the little um, home button, home key, it's going to take you back to the beginning. Now what you want to do is, um, with that zip file, th that second folder that said unrevoked one click root, double click on that at this time, and go in the very bottom where it says reflash.exe, double click on it, and there you go, and then it's just going to start, it's going to automatically start uh, rooting your phone. And it's also going to install a custom recovery, which in this, um, I think with this version that I put on here, it's going to be um, Clockwork uh, 2.5. Also, uh, um, if you have the BP31IMG.zip file on your SD card, remove it before you actually do all this, or else it's going to take forever to load, because it's going to try loading it. Waiting for reboot. This is actually the easiest way. This ensures that everybody gets root. Before people were having issues because uh, certain SD or certain micro SD cards wouldn't um, allow you to do the previous root method. So this way is a lot faster. Well, I love it's a lot faster, but it's, it's a lot easier. Still rebooting into recovery. It's almost done. This method also actually works with um with the EBA. And I think that same software also works with the desire. I'm not too sure about that. Okay. When you're in this screen, go to where it says uh, install zip from SD card and then click on this optical button. Oops. Just make sure you don't go down. Okay, click on that. Then you're gonna go to say choose zip file from SD card. And then you're going to select that AP dot, um, you can actually use the volume keys, it's a lot faster. And then you select AP hyphen ink dot zip. You want to say yes, install that. There you go. Now I'm just going to hit uh, optical pad on this one to reboot the phone. You can close this program at this time, it's not needed. And you can also disconnect from the phone, that's also not needed. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to lower this thing down. Go to Astro, File Manager. Hit Accept. Uh, click on Home if it just blink like that. Sometimes it won't read the card. There you go. Select Android.Tether. Select Wireless Tether. Open App Manager. Hit Install. It's going to say you currently have uh, third party applications like that block. So I'm going to go to Settings. Check Unknown Sources. Hit OK. Hit the back button, and then select it again. Open App Manager, install, install, and then open. Close, and then if I click on it, it's going to ask me for root privileges. There you go. Now, I'm going to quickly, oh, my battery's kind of dying out right now, so I'm going to quickly go over here and then disconnect myself from my current internet and then if you go to Android Tether you should be able to connect to it from there so just hit connect Okay. and that's all, all I have for this video now uh, thank you for watching and follow me on Twitter at D-I-E-G-O A-M-E-J-I-A -D -I -I -E alright thank you for watching bye